Hey everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It's Ruth Marquise. Um, I am up and at it this morning. Um, up at five thirty. Um, yeah. So it was very, very, very um, <laughs> like a, a a dragging morning for me. Um, because I wanted to wake up early. I've been waking up at five lately and, um, I had to fight my sleep and fight my sleep. And the key to <laughs> winning that battle is to actually like, I was like, I didn't get anything a lot done that I wanted to get done. But I was like, I'm, if I had to sit here and fight myself for 30 minutes to get up, that's what I'm going to do because I refuse to go back to sleep and waking up at a regular time. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. See, who's that? Who's here? <laughs> um yeah so this morning is like like tough but um I had um a situation where I had like one house to show somebody and I'm like I need her to find a house today so I decided that today's topic is going to be you get out what you put in so they shout out to the Jester Dan for saying that oh, you got to keep going with your videos I didn't do the video for a minute because they said they were too long so you let me know are they too long or no good morning good morning all right so let's see um yeah so you get out what you put in so I had only one house and that house turned out to be real ugly I hated it like I'm gonna tell you as your realtor <laughs> I don't like this house I don't see you in this house I don't like this house I don't like this ugly wood paneling I don't like it so um it's funny because me and my um I gave me and my um uh my client um I we were like reminiscing I'm like remember that house that you were gonna pick and, and you was gonna you know live on that street that super busy street and panel with a pen he's like yeah you don't like that you ain't like that house I was like because I did not want to give you something that you would just like in a you know i don't want somebody to be in a rush to get a house and then find the house and then be like this house show was ugly or this is not what i wanted but i'll just settle for it you know but it also we don't have to yep good morning <laughs> we don't have to find the most perfect houses i have i have somebody that has like it's um a top five <laughs> he's like i'm mulling it over my brain like what was if you don't pick one already so it's just like you gotta you get out what you put in you gotta put in the best and then you get out the best so um yeah so i decided that we had that one ugly house to see and i didn't know it was i didn't know it was gonna be bad but i know i don't just show one so i was like look what do we have to do i got on the phone i started making some phone calls to make it the best showing experience because um I wanted her to be able to find something that she liked so yeah we, we we turned out real good and I just sometimes you gotta like when you figure like you keep spinning your wheels over and over and over again like why does this keep happening the same thing keeps happening oh I know let me make let me put some more effort into it let me do something different it was not that we were not putting in the effort it was that if you keep doing the same thing and trying to get into the same places you want to get the same results so let's try something different let's try something new i found her one but you know it's okay so you know somebody's blocking right now but it's okay we'll be right now for soon <laughs> so um but that's the other part is like do not let situations stop you from doing what you know you kick me off okay so for example good morning hey atia Good morning, Ruth. Good morning, Rachel. Good morning, Edward, Taisha. All right. Yesterday morning, I'm like going full force in my 90 day journey, I guess, a 90 day run. And um, I dropped the kids off. Everybody's early. Everything is great. And then I think the car stopped on me. I'm like, well, this is not right because I know I just spent close to $1,000 on this car yesterday um it just stopped on me and i we were in the middle of the street like people like beeping beep beep and i'm like i can't even turn my emergency signals on but i was like determined not to let uh um this car um to frustrate me or make me upset and like curse the day i curse the day i have this car i curse the day you know no 
let's just stop being dramatic, right? <laughs> so uh, I was just like, whatever. I called um, AAA. I tried to make some arrangements and see what's going on. Um, and then um, I just like, all right, I'm gonna just wait for them to come and um, try to keep positive. My whole goal was not to be frustrated. Keep positive because in my kind of business, the way I do things, if I am frustrated or mad or upset, I'm not making no money today. We just not gonna make no money, you know? Because as an entrepreneur, you have to be creative and you have to come up with solutions to your problems. You cannot come up with solutions to problems you mad. You can't, you can't do it. it. It doesn't happen. So, you know, just, you gotta put in like, sometimes you gotta put in the work in your attitude. Sometimes your attitude can't suck. Like I can go to a job and be like, my attitude sucks, but I don't care, I'm slamming stuff, have an attitude and still get paid, but I, would not get paid uh, what I would like to get paid. I can't do that and build a business. I can't do that and get new customers. So there you go. So um, that's why it's just like, okay. So what happened was the guy, the tow truck guy came, right? And he was like, you know, trying to put it um, on the tow truck thing. And he's like, I was like, I think it was the battery last week or whatever. And then he was like, um... Um, let me, let me, he just, I think he tried to test the battery. Cause I was like, uh, I mean, if you could change the battery, then that's fine. So he could try to make some money. Hey, good morning, Lucinda. And, um, he touched it and the whole car started working again. He, and I was like, listen, bro, look, <laughs> I was like, so is this count? If you, you know, you didn't tell me, he's like, oh no, you have a kid in a car. So I'll still tell you. I was like, absolutely not. You're not telling me and bye boy because they got me on that you know that girl stuff like charging me up and your car is falling apart type stuff and i was like okay you're not doing that to me today so i was like oh my gosh the patience part worked it was it worked that i was patient it worked because i posted someone on, on facebook even as i was going through it i was like you know it's just a test you can pass it right let's pass the test i passed the test because i did not have a bad attitude at all so um sometimes life is all about that so i was like you know what that happened usually i would like oh my gosh i can't believe this happened to me today and this is going to be a bad day and then yesterday i was just like okay that happened to me like i'm still upset but i just like you know what calm down let's just act like it never happened and the rest of my day was still good so i got encouragement from one of my accountability partners saying it's great that you did not let your car you know ruin your day and i ended up having a wonderful day so you know just got to be you know grateful for what you do have um uh, pushing forth and and like i think life is testing you because the day before i had the best day i mean the best day i was running the list off of like i gotta tell what i do every day and that that was a story okay <laughs> like, and then what roof and then you did that and then you talked to this how many so yeah um it was a great day so of course the very next thing was you had to be tested right it has to be a bad day the next day so i was like okay whatever i know i'm doing a good job so i don't care life <laughs> so don't all right so I, I figured it out so thank you you like my hair thank you all right so that's it guys get out what you put in put out put in the most get out the most that's the whole point um everybody wants the rewards and nobody wants to do the work you have to do the work and most of all you have to work on yourself it's the things that i'm reading that are helping me stay in a positive mind frame and i believe that staying in that positive mind frame is going to keep you towards your goal because every day you wake up foggy mad upset why is it raining today like it's not supposed to rain it's gonna rain i still show houses in the rain i'm gonna keep a sunshine in my heart <laughs> it's like it's a blessing you have to talk to yourself ruth it's a blessing to have a new client it's a blessing to look for homes it's a blessing to have a car to drive to be doing these showings it's a blessing it's a blessing you're going to write an offer soon it's a blessing talk to yourself tell yourself what you have now is a blessing. If you have a job and you want a business, tell yourself it's a blessing to get paid every two weeks because if your business don't go well and you don't you don't get paid, so be happy with what you got and keep moving forward. And one day, you'll be getting paid daily and all of that's not gonna matter because you push through your obstacle. Life is gonna keep testing you at the same spots. If you want to move forward, you have to pass the test. Do not allow things to frustrate you you get out 
what you put in. Put in a good hard day of work. Chip away at your future and you will end up with a beautiful sculpture called your life. That's it. This is Ruth Marquise. I'll see y'all tomorrow. I will be doing another one. Tag a friend. Bye. Share.